Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at the BR Heavy Freight Pack for Train Sim World. Uh, you will need to own the Trans Pennine route to be able to uh, purchase and use this uh, this loco pack. So what do we get? We get two new uh, locomotives for use on the Trans Pennine route. We get the Class 40 BLU. And we also get the Class 08 BLU. Uh, so yeah, we get those to use and it's uh, lots of heavy haulage of uh, goods and fuel around the Trans-Pennine uh, routes. So if we just back out of that quickly, we do get some new scenarios as well. So the new ones are Tools of the Trade, Stand Edge Struggle, Whistler and Gronk, and I believe that is it, just those three there, yeah. So. Uh, if you want to check those out they will be over on the second channel that we have there will be a link in the description and a link at the end of the video uh, so if you want to watch pure gameplay of uh, train sim world and many other um, simulator games uh, yeah go check out the second channel uh, what we're going to do today though we're going to jump into the tutorials for the class 40 and the class 08 just check them out really quick um, before i forget though we'll quickly mention that obviously you can jump in the service mode as well um, with these trains doing different services so if we just quickly take a look at the class 40 as an example so we can do Le Leeds to Manchester Victoria uh, Victoria to Leeds there's an express train we do a heavy haul as well so oil train from Leeds to Manchester with two locomotives um, and so on so there's plenty of new services as well in the 24-7 mode um, so yeah, let's crack on with the tutorials anyway for these two new vehicles and uh, check them out. Welcome to this Class 40 diesel electric locomotive in BR Corporate Blue Livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in the rear cab, so head over and climb aboard. The locomotive tail lights need to be turned on for safety. Everything's now set in the rear cab, so head to the front cab and continue preparations. Right guys, so get this prepped ready to go. This locomotive is pulling vacuum braked 12 ton vans. The brake selector switch needs to match this or the brakes will not release. Okay, so we need to set that to vacuum goods. There we go. To get the locomotive started, set the battery isolation switch. This door. A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. Now, before the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. This locomotive features one engine which needs to be started. Let's get the engine running. The locomotive brake will safely keep the locomotive stationary. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. To allow the brakes to charge, we need to release the brakes from the shutdown position. Let's turn that down just a touch. The main touch. reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Oh, yeah, we're all Lights are important in letting others around know oh. that a locomotive is operational. The locomotive brake is holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Oh. 
Come on, release, please. Increase the throttle to stop the locomotive from rolling back when the brakes are released. So 10%. I'll do 12. Like the other brakes earlier, release the loco brake. Alright, let's get this ball rolling. Use the throttle to reach 15 miles per hour. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Coasting is a method used on flat gradients to efficiently maintain a constant speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Right, so let's maintain our speed. Um, put it up a bit as well, on a bit of a uphill. That's a full 1%. I was thinking that was 0 0.1 there. I thought it was slowing down. Junction is ahead. Start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop before the junction. Right. Great to slow this bad boy down. slow there, let's speed up again just a tiny bit. Includes all the basics of this locomotive. Right, on to the next one. Welcome to this Class 08 diesel electric shunting locomotive in BR Corporate Blue livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Before entering the locomotive, the battery isolation switches need setting. Start with the left side. As with the left battery isolation switch, set the right side. I'm pretty sure this uh, 08 has been in a few of the other DLCs as well.
Right. Enter the cab and continue preparations. Active lights are important to let others around know this locomotive is operational. There we go. A lot of time down. we spent driving, so take a seat to continue. Go ahead and start the locomotive. Now that the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Right, is that that charge? Um. To ensure that nothing moves while preparations continue, adjust the locomotive brake accordingly. Let's do that into emergency. So, the locomotive brake is holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Um, as I was going to say, there, I do love like the heavy haulage type of stuff, um, and it's good to see the UK's version, if you like, of the CSX stuff that's quite popular with this uh, game. Reverser is used to set the direction of travel. Track alignment plays a large role when manoeuvring around a yard. Head out on foot and adjust the indicated junction as required. Alright, I will do this on foot. I know I can press the view button and get the map up and do it, but we'll do it as the uh, as the tutorial wants us to. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying. Uh, Heavy haulage stuff from the UK is more than welcome. The path is now set. Head back to the cab and continue preparations. I do prefer that massively compared to the passenger stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy flying around in the uh, the 125 on the Great Western Express. Uh, but it's just something about, especially on this DLC, there was one in the... Uh, Tees Valley line that was released last week, week before. It's time to move. Set the locomotive brake as indicated. It was a little bit more um, along the heavy haulage side. There was a passenger service on there as well. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply. To um, but yeah, this is focused mainly on hauling stuff. With so the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired speed. Much larger uh, trains oil tanks, goods uh, carriages, um, so if you do prefer that then you definitely should pick this up. As I said earlier as well though, you do need to have the Trans Pennine DLC to be able to get this pack as well for it to work. Commentator over the noise the train's making. <laughs> I'm over speeding, no. I best put some brakes on then. No, no, that's better. Approaching the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. Paying attention, that's what that was. Start slowing this down a little bit. Oh, 
That was a little bit too quick. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Well, there you go then, guys. That was a look at the two trains available in this DLC. Um, so yeah, as we said, you got a couple of new scenarios. Um, so it was Tools of the Trade, Stand Edge Struggle, and Whistler and Gronk. So that's three new scenarios, as well as additions to the services. Um, Price-wise, I think it's not about twenty dollars. This um, a little bit pricey, as with most of the DLCs for Train Sim World. So it's only really worth it if you're really, really into the series, which I know a lot of you are. Um, so yeah, if you want it, go and check it out. Um, if you want to see more of this, we do have a second channel. Link in the description. There'll also be a link at the end of the video. So it's just pure gameplay um, of Train Sim World, Construction Sim, and all the other uh, simulators that are coming to console very soon, such as Bus Sim. They're all going to be on there as well. So go and check that out. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you soon.